there's a lot of sites with a lot of artifacts out there. But for us to have the remains of structural posts and floors and hearths is fairly unusual that we can really understand what the settlement looked like. This is what we told you about last June. We about an excavation site in rural Washington County that archaeologists say is thousands of years old. Over the past few months, that team has been uncovering the past, and now it's time for them to take their findings to the lab for analysis. This is exciting. 5 News reporter Morgan Wrigley joins us from that site where she says they're finishing the final touches today. Here at the intersection of Highway 112 and Great House Springs Road, a team of archaeologists has been digging up history for months. And as of Wednesday, excavation is finished. They've packed up their equipment and soon they'll be putting the soil back on the site. I talked to the archaeologists about what they've learned the past few months and what's next. You're unlocking the past, you know, a little bit at a time. After months of excavation, Commonwealth Heritage Group is putting down their tools. Today's wrap up day, I'm drawing wall profiles, trying to understand all the floors and hearths that are in the walls. And then we're just cleaning up. The site, which Rawson says is thousands of years old, was discovered during a routine survey before RDOT starts construction on Highway 112. Because of its significance, RDOT brought in Commonwealth Heritage Group from Memphis to conduct full-scale excavation. We have about six different structures now, two long ones and four smaller circular sleeping huts. The two long ones appear to be cookhouses. Senior archaeologist Jack Rawson says over the last few months, his team has made many more discoveries about these ancient structures. At the last time I talked to you, we had about 40 or 50 features. Those are fire hearths and posts and floors. And our final count is 95. And the people who once lived here. We're learning that this was a very stable base camp for at least 5,000 years. RDOT Public Information Officer Dave Parker says this is why these procedures are important. A lot of people think we're just, you know, roads, bridges, uh, uh, you know, constructing this and filling these potholes. But the environmental portion of, of every project is super, super important to make sure we preserve uh, what is found in this case. Uh, you know, it certainly has historical value to it. And regional office principal for Commonwealth, Drew Bushner, says the whole area is rich with history. The site was significant for its, its Native American component, but this site has a really interesting historic history associated with the Great House family, which is why this spring is called the Great House Spring and the road is called that too, right? And though the dig is over, for the team, this is only the beginning. Months and months of work ahead of us. We have to wash, catalog, analyze everything, lay it all out, and then really put the whole story together. We'll probably learn a lot more about the site in the lab than we know out here. Now the excavation is complete, Rawson and his team will head back to Memphis for lab analysis on what they found. And after the artifacts are preserved, RDOT can resume construction on Highway 112. In Washington County, covering news where you live, Morgan Wrigley, 5 News.